Hi everyone, Bob and Audrey here. We've just landed in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Actually flew in from Dallas, Texas, where we experienced a wonderful Love Mary Life weekend. We really did, and we also experienced some amazing divine appointments that honestly, if I tried to write them out for you guys on a blog, they would be too much. I gotta tell you about them. I mean, yeah. God is real. These are the ones that are kind of, you, you gotta write down. They're kind of yeah. for the record book. So we arrived Friday evening, yeah. just, just in time before the evening meeting, but it was a little cold. And, and I forgot my sweater. She's a little chilly. <laughs> so I forgot my sweater. So yeah. there's a bunch of shops by the hotel. So I said, honey, can, you know, we got a couple hours to kill before the meeting tonight. I'm going to buy a sweater. We went there. So it was about 4.30, quarter to 5. We get to a corner on Legacy mm -hmm. Avenue in Plano, Texas, and a car stops beside us. And there was a couple in despair. Now the traffic was heavy, and they start asking us, you know, they stopped are the car you in lost, the middle of the road, know, and they're looking for directions. And I'm like, wait, I'm a visitor here. I don't. If know If you're looking anything. for direction, we don't know where we're going. And it's like, and then they ask the question, so where's the meeting tonight? And we're like, and I'm like, no clue. Yeah, like I how mean, do people you... drive me around. I have no clue. And like, do I, you know said, me? You mean our meeting? And they said, yeah, yeah. we were told by our GPS to be here at 4.30 on this corner. This corner. Our red dot is right, right here. here. We looked right to now. our left and there you were walking down the sidewalk. How does that They had I, left an hour earlier, spent an hour driving around. There we were, 4.30, according to their schedule. Right on time. Right on time. Exactly, and there we were. And the point was, is that we quickly had them park so they wouldn't stop traffic. And we joined in and we said, do you really want to see us? Is like, yeah. this is what you're here for? They went, yes, yeah. we've been looking forward to this for so long. We saw yeah. on your website that you're going to be in Plano, Texas, and we want to be part of your meeting that yeah. starts right now. And we're saying, no, it starts at 7.30 and it's definitely not on this corner. Mm -hmm. So I had spoken with them several months earlier mm -hmm. and they were just in the midst of a deep crisis. And she was, you know, there had been an affair, there right. is a child involved. I mean, just really tragic because, hey, I know that pain. Right. And so I was able to counsel with them through a couple times and they heard about us coming to Plano. And here we were, with divine appointment. So we had little dinner with them. Baby, they were mm. with their with their little baby. The divorce had been canceled. They had their little baby. It was like our story all over again. Yeah. But they just needed some encouragement to get to the next level. We bought them dinner, had an hour and a half together alone before the meeting. Yeah. Then we had date night, and then we stopped and said, "How would God have known to put the GPS at that corner at the quote unquote wrong time?" But we would be walking down the street because they want they needed that time alone to really get the help but that they it was needed. the right place at the right time exactly. i believe that you're going to experience that even for yourself this week yeah when you hit that place of despair Our despair defeat. simply says there's no hope yeah and you feel defeated i'm telling you hang in there don't quit don't give up don't give up. It's so true. And so what we've done is we've written a, a devotional to go along with this video. At You can find it at bobandaudrey.com under our blogs. But I'll tell you what, we have got three things to help you. Okay. To, to, because we do not want to lose your road to your legacy. This all happened on Legacy Street, and I just love stuff like this. Because your legacy is not lost. Yes. That's what we're telling you. Your legacy is not lost. And the legacy you will leave for others is not lost. There's three things that you can do. Because God loves you. He cares about the details of your life. And this is it. We need you to, number one, ask God. Ask for help. Mm -hmm. We're going to help you with that. Number two, hang on. We're going to help you to hang on, hang in there. And number three, we're going to help you to don't wait. And some of you say, wait a minute, we're supposed to wait. Don't wait for someone else to encourage you. You're watching this so that God can encourage you. Yeah. I mean, God shows up in the most amazing times. And as much as that was a divine appointment, could it be that it's a yeah. divine appointment? that you pushed enough buttons to make sure you saw this message. God cares. The steps of the godly ones are ordered by the Lord, and He delights in the details, details. of their life. That's Psalm 37. Boy, you're really preaching good. Well, well, you're just on fire. Okay. Hey, behind <laughs> us, we're here at, I think it's called The Factory mm -hmm. uh, in Franklin Tennessee. Franklin, Tennessee. And we're just getting ready to do some Patricia, uh, Priscilla uh, Schreier programs. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to get to meet her. Yep. And uh, we'll let you know further when these programs will air. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. It's all new to us. Yep. 
But uh, God's doing good things. Yes. Really good things. It's fun to be a part of it. And I just want to say thank you, you know, to all of our friends and partners, you yes. know, that help us rescue marriages. Rescue uh, this morning. Our, oh, this morning. This morning in the church service, unbelievable. We, uh, a couple. Can I you talk can a tell little bit? Story. I'll do it just a little bit. Guy. You guys, you know how patient he is with me. Yeah, yeah, my arm's getting tired, too. <laughs> All right, we need to wrap this up. Yeah. But we had a couple this morning. Uh, the church that we met at, uh, met at uh, City Church, uh, they meet in movie theater. There yeah. was a couple having a cup of coffee, a little bit of breakfast, and they said, you know what, let's go to church this morning. And there it was, right across the street. At a movie and theater. And so we talked to them after. What happened is they had been in ministry, but she had had an 11-year affair um, and then since then, had I don't want to get too many details because I like to keep people anonymous. Yes. But then since then, had gotten married to her new husband who she was with. But she was still living with a lot of regret. A lot of shame. A lot of shame. And there were some new obstacles that she had to go through in the next week. And it was like God met her in that church service. Bob and I told right our time, story. Right time, right place. We said today's the details day. Details of our life. God to cares. To draw the line in the sand and decide that today's the day that I'm going to have hope mm -hmm. for my future and I'm not going to lose the legacy that God has for my generations. All right. So if you find yourself waiting, W-A-I-T, here's my acronym for that. W, I want you to be a worshiper, the worshiper that you've always been. Yes. A, I want you to guard your attitude. Yes. Don't allow bitterness, resentment, shame, uh, anger, you know, to, to well up bitterness in your life. Don't allow that. Guard your attitude. Also, then I want you to intercede. Yeah. Begin to pray for others. Begin to look around. There are people that are in need that you can help. Stand in the gap on their behalf. And then finally, T, W-A-I-T, is this be teachable. teachable. Have a tender heart. You know, just ask God, give me a new heart yes. with new desires. And I believe this week you're going to walk into some truly divine appointments. Now, in the comments below, tell us about your divine appointments. Mm -hmm. When you know it could not have happened. Like how... God is so real right now. He's very Those very kind real. of appointments. Always. And I pray hope into your heart that you are inspired to fight for your generations, for your legacy. Your story is not over. We'll see you. All right. Bye-bye.